welcome to my channel. I am Debbie with The Crafty Diamond. In today's video, I have an unboxing from Enablers Outpost, and I am so excited about this one. It just came in, and as soon as it came in, I wanted to unbox it and to show it to you. I went ahead because it is larger and unboxed it um, and situated it on my table so it would be easier than trying to fight with it. And I am absolutely in love with this one. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do for Drills and Chills and for Festival of Witches because this one is large. The other one that I had planned on doing is also large, but I am just absolutely in love with this one. And one of the reasons why is that this is my first large painting and from a premium company that has all rhinestones. And when I saw this, I had to order it, and I wasn't sure if it would be in on time, but um, I just got it. And so I will have time to kit it up. I'll have time to work on this. I'm not sure if I can do both of the large ones um, by the end of October, but I think I am going to try. So the kit is, uh, as I mentioned, it is from Enablers Outpost. It is called Moon Witch, and I'm gonna move it up a little bit. If you can see at the bottom here, it says Moon Witch Legally Licensed from Nini.Coloring. And so that tells me that this is legally licensed work, which means that Nini Coloring receives some type of a commission for this, and that is very important to me. I wanna make sure that the artist that I am paying for, for their artwork, for their rendering, actually gets noticed and they get compensated. And I do love Enablers Outpost. I have several of their pins. If you have um, seen any of my whipping chats, um, several of my pins are from Enablers Outpost. And I have another um, canvas by them. And so I am just in love with what they're doing. And also Elizabeth and Edward, they are really funny. Um, I watch their lives and they are just wonderful people. So I am definitely um, excited um, to support not only the artist, but also to support Enablers Outpost. And on this canvas, they also give you, it's a piece of paper, and this one is a little wrinkled, it's hard to see, but it shows Moon Witch, it gives you um, a rendering. It says, hello friend, we want to thank you for purchasing one of our Generation 3.1 diamond painting kits. This artwork is responsibly and legally sourced through the artist Nini.Coloring. Please visit, like, and follow this amazing artist on social media. It gives an Etsy website as well as gives the Instagram at the bottom here. It says, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us and we will do our best to resolve any issues you may run into. Happy, happy Diamond Painting, Elizabeth and Edward Inslee owners. So that's awesome. Then they have um, their little emoji here. Elizabeth and Edward, this is established in 2020. And I love um, also um, to support small business shops whenever I possibly can. I have all the information below of how you can um, order from Enablers Outpost. And they do not give you stickers, but they give you um, this nice schematic here, which is a good size. And so I will, I will scan that in into my printer and then I will also make stickers out of it. So it's not a problem at all. I love the rendering of this and I did not say the size. It is a 50 centimeter by 80 centimeter for the drill area. It's 42 colors, they are all rhinestones. It is poured glue and it's considered um, squares, square rhinestones. And I have a black cat. I love this black cat here, along with the witch. And she has a skull and does not look like a mean witch at all. Um, I love all the colors that is in this. It is large, um, but the cat is going to be all multi-placing. I don't know how you can multi-place with rhinestones. That would be very difficult, um, I think, but 
I have been using for rhinestones, I have been using a multi-placer, which um, works better than a single placer for um, placing um, special drills. So I may try it and see what happens. But um, I just love this. I'm gonna open these. This is gonna be very sparkly um, because it is all rhinestones. And if you've completed a kit that's all rhinestones that is this large or you know close to this size, let me know what you thought about it. They do have baggies, which I will um, kit into um, my containers, but there are some of the rhinestones that's a red. I'm not gonna go through all of these because I really don't want to get them out of order. And, but look at this gold. And it's packed in here, which I like. So if you see this, look how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. And then here's three tins. We have one, two, two bags, three bags of three tins. And those are very pretty. That's gonna be the cat. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna move this down just a little bit just so you can see different areas of this. It does have some greenery, so it's not gonna be all black. It's gonna be very bright colors. Look at her dress, the skull. Even has a pumpkin down here at the bottom. Has a candle here, so that's really cool. I'm gonna move up just a little bit. She's definitely a witch. You can see the witch's hat, so that would work for Festival of Witches. And then going down a little bit more, there is a moon here. And this is a scalloped canvas. It's also stitched, so you don't have to worry about fraying, which I love that fact, because I always worry about fraying um, if it's not scalloped and stitched. And there's quite a bit of color blocking here. And then also um, with her hat, there's some color blocking. There's a lot of color blocking in her hair. And her hair looks like it's going to be an up arrow. Let's see what that is. The up arrow. Where is the up arrow? Oh, it's right here. That is number 310. So not only will the, the cat be um, 310, her hair is going to be 310, but it's also going to have other colors in it as well. And here is the thumbnail. Let me see if I can get this up close enough where you can see it. Here's the thumbnail for this. So that's really pretty. But it's going to be very colorful, very shiny. Um, I'm gonna look at how sticky it is and it's perfect there. Doesn't even have any bunching up or anything on the actual plastic, so that's really nice. I will um, use washi tape on this. I have some cute washi tape that I've recently purchased that um, will go perfectly with this. I will put it on the sides and then I will also use it um, to section off my canvas. Um, I think her eyes are gonna be absolutely gorgeous as well. She also has a necklace here and the necklace is going to match the cat. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. But I just, I would love to just go ahead and kit this up and start on this now. I mean, that's how much I want to do this. So I know this is gonna be added to my September and my October lineup. And the toolkit, I was so excited to look at this, I didn't even look at the toolkit. So let's take a look here. Let's see what we have here. They also give you, because it is a square and it's um, rhinestones, you also have tweezers. I cannot use tweezers to actually put down drills. The top is off of this one, yeah, I'll fix it. I cannot use tweezers to put down drills, but I use these tweezers for several other things. Um, my husband's always getting splinters, so I give him some tweezers to use for that. And these are, these are not real sharp. They're, um, they're sharp enough. Some of the ones are so sharp, I'm kind of scared to use them. 
Um, but these are nice tweezers. I use those if I have to take a drill off. And then we have some of the blue wax. If you use this wax, make sure you take the plastic top off on both sides or you will not be able to load your pen because it will be covered in the little plastic coat. The top was off, so I'm gonna put that back on. You have a blue pen with a blue little squishy that you can use as a single placer. They also give you, it looks like a four placer here. And I think this would be a seven, which is good because I need a couple more sevens for other projects. So that gives you everything in the toolkit that you need to get started with this. Oh, and also you get a, a boat that um, you can use for this. So again, um, Enabled Outpost absolutely outdid themselves on this one. I am just absolutely excited to get started on this. And sometimes I'll open a kit and I'm like, yeah, I'm really glad I got it. I'll work on it whenever I can. But this one's like, nope, it's almost September. I am going to work on this one. I am also going to work on my other one that I've already kitted up. So I'm not gonna do them both at the same time. I think I'll do this one first and then I'll do the other one. But I've got to get this kitted up. So I've got to make sure my printer's working. I've had some problems with my printer this week. I may have to get somebody to come out if my husband can't fix it because I have to have it for work as well. Um, but I want to kit this up as soon as I possibly can. Thanks so much for watching this. I do appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And thanks to all of you that are returning. I do appreciate your support. If you wouldn't mind clicking on that like button, that does help um, to um, get my videos out there to reach more people. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye, everybody.